Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarab al -Fat. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa met today with the Malaysian Minister of Defense and Minister with Special Functions, Zahisha Muddin Tan Hussein. The minister conveyed the greetings of Sultan Mohammed V of Malaysia and Malaysia's Prime Minister Mohammed Najib Abdul Razak and their wishes of progress and prosperity to the kingdom and its people. His Majesty asked the Defense Minister to convey his greetings to Malaysia's King and Prime Minister as well as his wishes of further progress and prosperity to its people. People. His Majesty underscored the deep rooted bilateral relations and their continuous development, particularly in the field of military and defense cooperation, in light of the support of the two countries' leaderships. His Majesty commended the successful results of his recent official visit to Malaysia, expressing pride in the positive results of the discussions held with the Malaysian leadership, which has reinforced bilateral cooperation on all levels. He also praised the role of Malaysia in maintaining regional and international security and stability and its contributions as a member of the Islamic Military Alliance to fight terrorism. For his part, the Defense Minister hailed the efforts of His Majesty the King to enhance Bahraini-Malaysian relations and the positive results of His Majesty's recent visit to Malaysia. He affirmed his country's keenness to bolster cooperation with Bahrain, particularly in the field of military and defense. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at the Dhabiya Palace the Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh and the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Al Mullah following the issuance of the Royal Order adjourning the third session of the fourth legislative term. His Royal Highness expressed sincere gratitude and appreciation of the efforts exerted by both Council's members in carrying out their legislative and monitoring responsibilities that serve the interests of Bahrain and its people. He said the Kingdom of Bahrain, under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, has achieved unprecedented achievements. He added that the Kingdom's ambitions are big and without limits for the nation and people and affirmed keenness to do the impossible to achieve those ambitions and to soothe out any obstacles and challenges along the way. He praised the cooperation with the legislative authority that paved the way to achieve collective mutual visions and shared goals in order to serve the country and its people. He also praised the role of Bahrainis that do not alter or change no matter what the conditions are and added that together Bahrain has succeeded in organizing circumstances politically, economically and socially and succeeded in dealing with issues Gulf-wise regionally and internationally as a result of the close cooperation among the Bahraini society. His Royal Highness said that His Majesty's policy in upholding the principles of development modernization and consolidation of the fundamental pillars of the state of the law and institution have resulted in consolidating the cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities in every manner that will serve Bahrain and its development in all fields. He also said that the close cooperation between the executive and legislative bodies will remain the firm principle of the government, the key goal being the revival of the nation, satisfaction of citizens' ambitions and maintaining their livelihood gains. His Royal Highness praised the efforts of the MPs and Shura Council members throughout the third session of the fourth legislative term, during which numerous significant laws and legislations have been issued, including the Unified Family Law and other laws and legislations that contributed with more regulation of social, economic and political life aspects for facilitation of citizens living and charted the features of the prosperous future. We as Inspire for the nation and its citizens. He expressed his aspiration that the upcoming legislative session will witness more efforts to complete the achievements in the interest of the nation and to fulfill citizens' ambitions, reiterating the government's keenness on continuation of the policy of cooperation and consultation with the legislature. The speakers of the representatives and chair councils expressed their gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his diligence regarding everything that supports the cooperation 
cooperation and partnership between the executive and legislative authorities. They affirmed that the government under the leadership of His Royal Highness has worked to achieve this cooperation and transformed it into substantial reality felt by all citizens. They added that the numerous directives of His Royal Highness instructing the ministers and officials to cooperate with the legislature have had a tremendous impact in accomplishing numerous dossiers in the interest of the nation and its citizens. They affirmed that the legislature backs the government's efforts in the comprehensive development and affirmed the legislature's keenness that the spirit of cooperation prevails in the manner that will contribute to achieving the nation's aspired progress. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met at the Dhabiya Palace today, head of the Court of Cassation and Deputy President of the Supreme Judicial Council, Chancellor Abdullah Al Bu'ainin. Also present was Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa. The meeting took place following a number of new appointments to the Court of Cassation and the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission, the LLOC. The appointees who also also attended the meeting included Deputy Judge at the Court of Cassation, Chancellor Masoum Abdul Rasul, President of the LLOC, Chancellor Nawaf Abdullah, and Deputy President of the LLOC, Chancellor Mohammed Mujbal. The Crown Prince congratulated the new officials on their appointments, wishing them success in their future endeavors. He highlighted that the Kingdom of Bahrain continues to develop its legal and judicial system under His Majesty the King's leadership, which is enshrined by the National Action Charter and safeguards the rule of law and justice for all. His Royal Highness noted that the Kingdom has uh, prioritized the institutional development of the judicial system by launching a number of initiatives aimed at improving standards and judicial procedures. He said that security, justice and the economy are important pillars of advanced societies and are integral foundations that support Bahrain's international standing and reputation across different fields. He praised the efforts of the Supreme Judicial Council to implement the Judiciary Strategy of 2020, which has contributed to raising the efficiency and performance of the Bahraini Judiciary, as well as the Supreme Judicial Council's and the LLOC's role in modernizing and strengthening the institutional structure of the judicial system. Chancellor al Bainin expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his continuous support, which reflects his keen interest in developing the judicial system in the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met today at Gdabiya Palace the Malaysian Minister of Defence and Minister with Special Functions Hisham al-Din Tan Hussein. The meeting discussed a wide range of regional and international issues including Bahrain's eagerness to advance security cooperation with allies such as Malaysia in order to effectively combat global terrorism. The Crown Prince noted that those individuals that expose uh, pr that that expose extremist ideologies do, do so to disrupt the development and prosperity of peaceful nations and Bahrain will continue to challenge terrorism at its source. He confirmed the kingdom's commitment to combating extremist ideologies is rooted in the Islamic values of faith and coexistence. His Royal Highness highlighted the steady growth of bilateral relations between both countries, particularly in the security and defense sectors. Bahrain's Defense Force Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa met today with the Malaysian Minister of Defense and Minister with Special Functions Hisham al-Din Tan Hussein. Also present were Minister of Defense Affairs Lieutenant General Yusuf Al-Jalahma and BDF Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagran Naimi. BDF Commander-in-Chief said the visit, of the, the visit of the Malaysian official comes to strengthen joint military cooperation, commending the deep-rooted relations between the two countries. Commander of the Royal Guard, His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa also met today with the Malaysian Minister of Defense and Minister with Special Functions, Hisham al-Din Tan Hussein. He welcomed the Malaysian official and praised the close relations binding the two countries.
The U.S. State Department yesterday released the annual country reports on, ter on terrorism 2016, where it highlighted Bahrain's increased counterterrorism efforts. According to the report, the Bahraini government continued to make gains in detecting, neutralizing, and containing terrorist threats from violent militants supported by Iran, as well as ISIL sympathizers. The report also noted that the government continued implementing counterterrorism laws the legislature approved in 2013. According to the report, the government of Bahrain also offered diplomatic support to the global coalition to defeat ISIL participating in the October counter-ISIL conference in Washington and other working level meetings. The report said that Bahrain, through legislation, law enforcement and border security, was able to tighten terrorist finance monitoring and penalties and strengthen the